I think the relationship that the president has had with Merkel, he would describe as fairly unbelievable. Uh, they get along very well. He has a lot of respect for her. Uh, they continue to grow the bond that they had during their talks in the G7. Uh, and he views not just Germany, but the rest of Europe as an important American ally. Um, during his conversations at NATO and at the G7, the president reaffirmed the need to deepen and improve our transatlantic relationship. And how did he view her comments that she felt that Europe could no longer depend on the United States? Well, respectfully, that's not what she said. So since you're misquoting the chancellor, let me read what she actually said. She said, the time when Europe could rely solely on others is somewhat in the past. And as I've witnessed over the past few days, Europe must take its fate into its own hands. This means working in friendship with the U.S., the U.K., and neighborly relations with Russia and other partners. That's great. That's what the president called for. He called for additional burden sharing. The Secretary General of NATO said that the president's calls are what's moving them in the right direction. The president is getting results, and more countries are stepping up their, their burden sharing. That is a good thing for them, it's a good thing for NATO, and it's a good thing for America. Scott Thuman. represent women in politics.